Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for February March 2023. You are supplied with the following source files. I have copied the files here. Task 1 preparing the evidence document. You need to open m23 evidence.rtf. Make sure your candidate details will appear on every page and you need to save it as M23 evidence followed by your candidate number. So this is the evidence document. So go to insert, header. You can give your candidate details in the header so that it will appear on every page. And we need to save this. as M23 evidence followed by your candidate number and save as Word document. So the evidence document is ready. Task 2 document, you are going to produce a report. Using suitable software package, open M23 stem.rtf. So this is the stem.rtf file. The page setup is A4 landscape. Do not make any changes. Save the document with the file name STEM News. Make sure it is saved in the format of the software you are using. So you need to save this. Save as STEM News and save it as Word document. Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. So this is the folder. Make sure the format is completely visible here. And this is the file which we have saved. Let's take a screenshot. This is your first evidence. Place in the footer of the STEM news document, automated page numbers left aligned, your candidate details right aligned. So insert footer. On the left side we have to insert page number. So go to page number, current position, select one of the options from here. In the middle we don't have anything right side you have to add your candidate details center number and candidate number make sure that all alignments match the page margins no other text is included and the footer is displayed so just go through the document everything is visible in all the pages Create and store the following styles based in each on normal paragraph style. So first let's create a style. So go to home, click here and then select create a style. The first style is ST subhead. Modify. It should be based on normal. The font style is sans serif, font size is 14 and center aligned. So ADL is sans serif, size is 14, center aligned, all capitals bold. So we can make bold here. For all capitals go to format, font, all caps. Next line spacing is single and space before the paragraph is 0 and after paragraph is 9. So go to format, paragraph, line spacing must be single and before is 0 and after is 9. Okay and then okay. 
this style has changed because my cursor work is here just bring it back to body style next style is st table so let's create a new style create a style st table modify it should be based on normal the font is serif font size is 11 and left aligned so serif means times new roman the font size is 11 left aligned italic single zero zero so set it to italic go to paragraph line spacing is single before paragraph spacing before zero and after zero you okay and okay next st bullet so again create a style st bullet modify style based on normal and the font is serif font size is 11 left aligned so serif means times new roman font size is 11 left aligned square shape bullet aligned to the left margin single zero and zero so for the bullets go to format numbering select bullets square shaped okay then go to paragraph line spacing is single and zero zero so line spacing single before and after zero and alignment must be left you okay and okay remove the style from here take a screenshot to show that you have defined the settings for the st subhead style make sure there is evidence so this is st subhead style right click modify let's take a screenshot of the settings we have given So step 3 evidence 2, we have to paste this evidence here. Next display the style names created in step 3 as a list in style manager organizer. So to display the style manager, you can see the styles here, click on this and you can see the style manager. This is the style manager let's select this and take the screenshot so step 4 evidence is taken let's bring this to the next page next the style st title has already been created and stored modify the st title style so we have st title here right click modify the phone style is sans serif phone size is 36 and center aligned so sans serif you have to give ariel the size is 36 center aligned bold underlined bold and underlined so remove italic and the line spacing is single and space before and after is zero so go to format paragraph line spacing is single before and after is zero okay 
if you check this style you can see this is set as all caps so we need to remove that because it's mentioned that only the following format should be applied so go to format font remove all caps okay apply this style to the title text aware school stem development so select this text and we need to set it as st title place in your evidence document screenshot of the settings for st title right click modify let's take the screenshot and place it as step 5 evidence next below the title add a subtitle innovations in science education so below the title that is here you have to add the text innovations in science education and this text must be set to st subtitle the style st subtitle has already been created apply this style so if you check here you you won't be able to find st subtitle but you can find it from your style manager if your style manager is not here you can just click here and select st subtitle apply the st bullet style to the text from working in teams to developing own solutions so this is the text it should be set as st bullet style so set to st bullet style identify the seven subheadings and apply st subhead style so the seven head subheadings one two three four five six and seven let's set it to st subheading change the page layout so that the subheading why is system approach to learning important and all the following text are displayed in two columns of equal width and the spacing is one centimeter so this is the subheading why is uh, stem approach to learning important Select all the text till the end of the document. Go to layout, columns, more columns, two columns and the spacing must be one centimeter. You can see equal with this already set here. Give OK. Locate the table and insert a new row above chemistry. So this is the table we need a new row above chemistry so click here right click insert rows above now you need to add this text biology 50 and 40 merge the cells and center align the text in the first row of the table so this is the first row select this so you can right click here and merge cells it should be centered so set it to center align apply the st table style to rows 2 to 9 of the table so select the rows 2 to 9 and apply st table style Make sure that no data is wrapped within the table. All grid lines are displayed. All borders and data fit within the column width. And there is a six point space after the table. So no data should be wrapped. So no text is wrapped here. You can see all of them are on single line. And now there should be a spacing after the table. So I'll select this paragraph. Right click paragraph 
give a spacing before this paragraph. So it shows the paragraph after the table. It shows the space after the table. Import the image m23 sign this dot jpg and place it in the paragraph beginning with the gender disparity. So let's find the paragraph control F. So you can see this is the paragraph where we have to insert the image. So click here insert picture. Select your folder. This is the image insert. Reflect the image so that the laboratory flask is on the right. So we have to reflect this image horizontally. Select the image. You can see here rotate. Flip horizontal. So the flask is on the right. Format the image so that it is resized to a height of 2 cm. With aspect ratio maintained. So right click size and position, height should be 2 cm and make sure aspect ratio is locked. It is aligned to the left column of margin and top of the paragraph and text wraps around the image. So we have to set the text wrap properties like the image, go to wrap text, set it as square. Spell check and proofread the document. Make sure that the table and list are not split. Columns align at the top. There are no widows or orphans. There are no blank pages. Styles are applied consistently. You can go for review. Spelling. This is a name, so you can ignore. This is also name. The spelling check is done. Next we have, we have to check uh, the list and the table do not split and there are no widows or orphans. You can see this subheading is, this should come along with the paragraph. So bring it to the next page. Same way this subheading should go to the next column. Make sure there are no widows or orphans. So to check so to check there are no widows or orphans, you can right click, go to paragraph, go to line and page breaks, make sure widow orphan control is set. So make sure all these styles are applied consistently and spacing is consistent. Also the, there are no blank pages, so our document is ready. Save the document using the same file name and format used in step 1. So you can save this. Next print the document. So you need to print it. You can go to file and then print from here. So this is the end of document production. Next task is the database task which will be uploaded in another video. You can find the link in the description once it's uploaded. Thank you for now.